Hello YouTube, this is Odyssey checking in one more time and today I'm gonna give you a review for the game Beat Hazard. Right now playing on your screen. Uh, this game came back in 2010, uh, pretty much. Um, as you can see, the most interesting feature of the game is that it's powered by your own library of music. So let's take a look at it. Um, pretty much you have the option to use uh, your keyboard and mouse or you have a uh, wire Xbox gamepad that's going to automatically detect that. I'm going to use the keyboard and mouse in here because I'm more used to using that in the game. Now the game controls are not very hard, WASC to move, mouse to fire and uh, additional trinket sound here. So the goal of the game is that you pretty much have a small ship and you gotta destroy everything around you in order to score a lot of points. An old classic, huh? So right now we're gonna hit the single player option. We're gonna check on the online game later on. We have four different modes. Standard mode, which is pretty much uh, what I already explained to try to make the most amount of points. Survival mode uh, will put you to see how much you can last with a few set of lives and boss rush is going to test you against the most heavy bosses on the game one after the other. The, the chill out mode here it's um, pretty much if you just want to play around that you don't care too much about points or scoring you can just go to chill out mode and chill out. <laughs> Right, we're gonna try survive standard mode, I'm sorry, for the sake of consistency. And you're gonna get a folder to browse. You can use your own music library in this case in order to well uh, in order to power the game. If you can say how do you power the game? Uh, well if you can press B here and use your Windows browser and it's gonna to browse to a folder where you have mp3 files on it. I have already the folder open here. Um, however, uh, how does the music affect the gameplay? Pretty much the beats uh, are, detect are detected by the game engine and those ones become uh, the power and rate of fire of your weapons. You're gonna see, be able to see that in a moment. Uh, we're gonna try with um, something of fresh beats. Let's try this one. I'm gonna play normal. I don't wanna... I don't want to end up dying in a review. <laughs> and start the game. There you go. Pretty much it's a ship. As you can see, we have a very low beat. So our weapons are pretty kind of lame. And you go pick volume. And it increases the volume bar down here. And you have another one that says weapon power, which is actually what it does is it increases the weapon power. Wow, big surprise, huh? Oh, and that's what happens when you die. <laughs> Pretty much you have a set amount of lives. Now, the music beat is gonna drop here. So you're gonna see right now in a few moments when, I, when the beat of the music starts to go higher, how the weapons are going to improve. Also, the enemy spawning is going to go bigger. See? And I mean literally bigger. Yeah. And it takes some time to use to the to the controls and to the amount of lights to know exactly what is going on around you. You got some shields. You got some set of missiles here you can fire at any time. This is a boss that just spawned here right in front of me. So your main objective is to destroy. There are different kinds of bosses uh, throughout the game. Each one with their own strategies to beat. After you defeat a boss, 
and it's gonna drop uh, a lot of multipliers, it's gonna give you a bunch of points, power to your weapon, just like that, and more of the slow enemies are going to show up in your game. Sorry, sorry. That happens when you click out of the screen and playing this on windowed mode, which is not exactly the best mode to play this. I hate when that happens. Alright, so it's not recommended to play the windowed mode. And well, it's pretty much the core of the game. Oh, I got one more life? Good. And you thought Dark Souls was epical, huh? It's very important for you to know exactly which song you're playing with so that you know when your weapon is going to suck like it just did on me. After every mission you're gonna get a score, you're gonna increase on ranking, these are leaderboards, and you're gonna give it a second chance to play again. The more and more you play, you're gonna be unlocking more um, Features to improve your gameplay and don't get miserable kills as I just did. If they're called perks, and um, you can increase your number of lives, your number of bombs, missiles, uh, shields, the duration of your shields, high beams, ultra beams, and more and more and more the more you play. Um, the game has 25 achievements so far on Steam, some of them are actually pretty easy. Some others do not. The game has an online play feature, but to be honest with you, I have found like three matches in the last six months. So if you want to play this online against somebody else or you're looking to beat some scores uh, with a friend, do not do it because online play pretty much sucks. Uh, for that you can go to the two player section and you can play in, in, in the same computer with two different ships. Uh, the other player can press B on the keyboard and it will let you join in. Um, pretty much that's uh, the core of the game. Uh, it has a lot of enemies, It has. Uh, it's very fun to play because it's your music, the one that is going to be determining how your weapons react and whether you survive or not. Little boards are actually pretty extensive. The more rank camp points you get, the higher you want the leaderboard, there's not no side to that one. And the achievements, well, most of them are pretty easy. For example, hitting bosses in a single game, it sounds hard and it really is. Like getting kill streaks through your tracks. Um, actually, I achieved almost half of this, uh, the five hours of game. And well, that's pretty much uh, what the game is about. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of graphic cards. However, be aware of those of you people who are sensitive to, to lights. The strokes on this one are actually crazy, as you just saw a few months ago. Alrighty then, well, uh, I suggest that you take a look at the Beat Hazard, give it a fair chance, and uh, if you're playing it, well, be sure to share your experience in the comments. This is Odyssey again, checking out.